Hello engineers, welcome to the new video of the course and in this particular video or rather in this particular section we are going to see the AC equivalent model for enhancement type MOSFET. So as of now we will just focus upon the N channel E MOSFET. Okay, so as you can see this is the symbol of N channel E MOSFET. This is symbol 1 and this is symbol 2. Okay, now first thing first when we say that uh, I want to uh, design a MOSFET amplifier. What does that mean? That means inherently I am assuming that or rather to operate MOSFET as an amplifier, we need to operate our MOSFET in the in the in what in the saturation region. Okay, so we need to operate this particular MOSFET in the saturation region. Okay, so let me just write over here. If we want to operate our MOSFET as an amplifier, so it should be operated operated in the saturation region. Saturation region. Okay. Now. When I say that I want to operate my MOSFET in the saturation uh, region, so what does that mean? That means my uh, VGS, that means the voltage across gate and source, this particular voltage, that is voltage across gate and source, that is VGS, okay, over here and over here as well, VGS, okay. So my VGS, just a second, my VGS, it should be greater than VTH okay and the second point should be my vds it should be greater than equals to or greater than vgs minus of vth the whole square right sorry vgs minus of vth not whole square vgs minus of vth so these are the two conditions that should be satisfied and inherently we are assuming that since we are operating our mosfet as an amplifier so inherently we are assuming that these two conditions they are getting satisfied getting my point great now we need to proceed further okay so now you just have a look over here we will uh, try to combine both of these symbols which are present over here so first thing first you know what we can see over here is this that is you see over here this is my gate terminal and i had already mentioned that in mosfet the gate gate or gate terminal it is isolated from drain and source okay so that means what there is certain uh, insulator that is present in between the gate and the drain and source right so gate is isolated from drain and source that means gate terminal it is not joined or it is not connected with drain and source so you just have a look over here this is my gate terminal i just drawn over here in this way so mm, let me just highlight it with the help of yellow color so this is my gate terminal great now coming to the uh, source terminal so you see over here now uh, the moment i say that my mosfet it is operating in this particular saturation region let me change the color for an instance yeah the the moment when i say that my mosfet it is operating in the saturation region. So what does that means? That means my drain current will be constant, right? And my drain current will flow from drain to source, right? So you see over here, this particular arrow, I had already mentioned that this arrow indicates that the current flows from drain to source, right? And obviously my MOSFET is in the saturation region, all right? So that will be one constant current which flows from drain all the way to source. Getting my point? Great. So let me just write over here that my voltage sorry my uh, drain current id it flows from drain to source right it flows from drain to source this is my drain current id okay and this particular arrow indicates the same thing okay but if you could notice one thing over here uh, which you cannot notice in, uh, in this particular symbol okay and that particular thing is this that is you see over here this drain and source they are getting connected over here okay they are getting connected over here so this particular line it indicates that my drain and source are connected together okay are connected together why because my mosfet it is operating in the saturation region so that's why they both are getting connected together and thus the constant current that is drain current id it flows between drain and source or it flows from drain to source right so my drain and source are getting connected so you see over here this is what i had mentioned so if this is my drain okay so if this is my drain assume that this is my drain okay so this should be my source okay this should be my source this entire thing this entire line it will be my source okay and then there is uh, one constant current which is flowing between drain and source so let me just represent it in this way okay let me just uh, represent it properly there is this particular constant uh, current source something like this uh, let me increase its uh, size yeah 
so this is the uh, uh, drain current that is id okay which will flow in this particular direction so this is my drain current id i'll just represent it with the help of small characters id because we are dealing with ac equivalent model right okay okay so this is my drain current which is flowing from drain to source getting my point this is my gate terminal which is isolated from drain and source what does that mean that means my gate is not connected to source neither it is connected to drain great i hope that this particular part is crystal clear to you all guys now you just have a look over here we are supplying certain voltage between gate and source right and this particular voltage it should be greater than vth right forget about this particular condition as of now what we can see is that we are providing certain voltage that is vgs okay so let me just show that particular voltage over here that particular voltage we are providing between gate and source right between gate and source so this is the voltage that is vgs vgs I hope this particular part is clear. So this is all about the modeling of uh, N-channel enhancement type MOSFET, but still it is not uh, completed. Okay. Now you'll ask me, sir, why exactly it is not completed? Because if you could remember, in 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 course of VGD only, I had clearly mentioned that MOSFET is the uh, voltage current control uh, uh, vo voltage control current source. Now what does that mean? That means this particular voltage that is VGS, it is controlling my output current that is id and in, th in fact if you could remember the uh, the the uh, transfer characteristic right if you could remember the transfer characteristic it was something like this right this was my uh, vgs and this was my id right this was my id so as i'm increasing my vgs so the current that is the drain current will also increase right it was kind of a uh, uh, exponential graph if you could remember that okay on top of that, if you could remember one concept which we had already discussed, that is transconductance, that is GM. What was my GM? That is transconductance. So GM is equivalent to ID by VGS. So I can also write this particular equation as ID is equivalent to GM times of VGS, right? So with this particular equation, what I can say is that my ID, that is my drain current, it is directly proportional to VGS. Or rather, it is equivalent to GM times of VGS, right? It is equivalent to GM times of VGS. Sorry, GM times of VGS, right? I hope you are able to understand this. Now, what does that mean? That means if I am increasing my gate to source voltage, so this uh, drain current ID it also increases, right? If I am decreasing this voltage, so my drain to current, uh, uh, drain to source current it also decreases. Getting my point? I hope that you are able to understand this particular relationship. Let me erase this. I hope this particular part is crystal clear to you all, guys. And there is one more concept that is left and that is this see this particular model is absolutely correct i had just uh, redesigned it over here you see i'm applying certain voltage within the gate and source this is my gate let me just write over here so this is my gate this is my source and this is my just this can this is my drain okay and this is my drain okay so this is my gate to source voltage that I'm applying between gate and source. Okay. And then there is this particular current which is flowing from drain to source. Okay. So again, this is my source. So my current, it is flowing in this particular direction from drain to source. And it is equivalent to GM times of uh, VGS, which I had shown just now. It is equivalent to GM times of VGS. Okay. So this particular model is true only when your lambda is equivalent to zero. Now what is lambda? I hope you all guys can recollect this particular term what exactly lambda was it was channel length modula modulation right lambda was nothing but it was channel length modulation if lambda is zero just a second lambda lambda is zero all right so what does that means that means if you could remember the formula of lambda which we had de uh, derived so it was nothing but rd is equivalent to one upon lambda id right one upon lambda id so now if my lambda is zero so what does that means one by zero that is inf infinity that means what the output impedance of the mosfet will be infinite so instead of rep representing one resistor over here what wa what was this rd i had clearly mentioned that rd is nothing but your output impedance okay so instead of representing let me extend this particular part instead of representing this particular uh, resistor over here 
that is rd okay we'll keep it open why because this particular value is infinite okay the value of rd it is infinite so no need to represent rd over here in this particular model okay but obviously when we are dealing with some practical examples or when we are dealing with some you know a design uh, uh, when we actually try to design something so uh, we don't have lambda as zero right ideally it is only possible ideally but practically it is not possible so when my lambda is not equal to zero so what does that means let me just uh, show it over here if my lambda it is not equivalent to zero so what does that mean that means you have certain value for rd rd will be finite this i had already mentioned right rd will be finite because lambda is not equivalent to zero that means let's suppose lambda is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 times of id okay and then it is getting divided by i mean it is in denominator of one right so let's suppose let's suppose whatever that value is let's suppose maybe 0 0.23 something like this so you will get certain finite value over here right you won't get infinite value okay so in that case we actually represent this particular model in this way that is you see over here just a second everything is same everything is same just the thing is that we are actually re representing one uh, resistor over here and this is rd which is finite which has some finite value getting my point so this is the exact model for n channel enhancement type mosfet so this is the exact model for n channel enhancement type mosfet i hope this particular part is crystal clear to you all guys again we will quickly revise what all things we saw just now so uh what uh, we saw at uh, uh, like when we started the session was this that is when i want to operate my mosfet as an amplifier so inherently we are assuming that my vgs it is greater than vth and my vds it is greater than vgs minus of vth what does that means that means my mosfet it is operating in this saturation region right obviously if this uh, both of the condition if they are getting satisfied so my mosfet will operate in this saturation region right so what we did was that we actually tried to you know uh, deduce some uh, certain things just by looking at this at, at both of these particular symbols right so you see gate my gate terminal it is isolated from it is isolated from drain and source that means my gate terminal it is not a, not at all connected to drain neither it is connected to source right so let's assume this is my gate right then what we saw was that uh, we are providing certain voltage between gate and source that is vgs you see over here we are providing certain voltage that is vgs and then what we also saw was that by looking at this symbol uh, uh, since my mosfet it is operating in the saturation region so my drain and source they will get short circuited or basically they will get connected internally okay and due to which a constant drain current id will flow from drain to source you see over here the constant drain current id it will flow from drain to source i had represented all of these particular characters in these small uh, letters why because we are dealing with ac analysis right we had completed a dc analysis in the previous course right now we are just focusing upon ac part right that means what with dc uh, signal you are actually superimposing our ac signal right so our main focus will be on that particular ac signal ac signal because let's suppose if we are giving certain uh, signal over here let's suppose 1 millivolt of signal between gate and source obviously uh, uh, that will be less than vth so for that very purpose we need to supply dc voltage as well over here right so 1 millivolt of signal we want to amplify it to let's suppose 1 volt right so gain is how much gain is 1000 right so my mosfet should be able to provide gain of 1000 right i hope that you all guys are quite familiar with all of these particular terms because we had already completed all of these uh, terms in the previous sessions as well that means when we were dealing with bjds jfets opamps and all okay getting my point so this is what we saw and after that we established one relationship which we had already seen that is transconductance is equivalent to id by vgs so with this particular logic what we can say is that my uh, mosfet is the, is the uh, voltage control current source why because a uh, voltage it is controlling my current source that is id that is my input voltage it is controlling my output current that is id and how exactly we can prove that with this particular formula also you can uh, 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 also you can recollect the uh, transfer characteristic which we had uh, seen so if my vgs if it is greater than vth my id will increase drastically that is exponentially right so id is equal to gm times of vgs i hope this particular part is absolutely clear to you all guys right and uh, uh, this particular model only holds true if my lambda is zero that means if my lambda is zero so rd will be infinite right my rd will be infinite but if my lambda is not equivalent to zero which is which which generally happens in the practical case scenario right when you design something you won't have lambda is zero lambda has certain value maybe 0 0.1 maybe uh, 0 0.2 something like that right 
so ideally it is a finite it is not zero so in that case my rd will be finite okay you will get certain value for uh, rd and this is how you represent it so this is the accurate or the exact model for uh, enhancement type or n channel enhancement type mosfet so this is my gate this is my source and this is my drain getting my point and you see uh, current is flowing from drain to source either you can you can represent this entire thing with the help of id or else you can represent it with gm vgs that is fine this is my uh, get to source voltage this is my rd okay so i really hope that you understood the concept of uh, modeling and channel enhancement type mosfet but still if you have any doubts if you are facing any difficulties anywhere you make sure to ask those particular doubts in the communication section i will be happy to help you out there so thank you for listening to me patiently i'm ending this video over here thank you